I smelled Red Songbird in New York City, pregnant, eight months. That's a father, the part of the father, the son, is a father of one of the twins in my womb. I'm going to sing. As a father, is Jesus Christ current form, is a father of the other twin in my womb. And their flesh never touched my flesh. It's an immaculate conception. I try to take the selfie of myself. You can see my hair and my breasts are full and my pooch. Okay, let's begin. I listened to Owen Benjamin's um, video tonight and it was so good. I took so many notes. You're going to have fun listening to him because he was on fire tonight. He was terrific. Okay, but I'm going to begin by talking about my UK contact. She reported to me that Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg built schools in Uganda, but the children had to take their vaccines, Bill Gates and Zuckerberg's vaccines. The government said, we like your schools with the computers. We'll have the children take your vaccines. When the children grew up, it was discovered that the girls that had taken the Zuckerberg Gates vaccines were miscarrying. They were unable to have babies. As soon as the government realized those vaccines were causing those women to miscarry, to abort their babies, they closed down the schools and kicked Gates and Zuckerberg influences out of their country. Um, it's no coincidence that 70% of abortion clinics are located in black communities because there's no such thing as a coincidence and because Planned Parenthood was established by Margaret Sanger uh, a genus, uh, to um, kill, uh, stop the birth rates of black people. Okay, next topic. Manhattan Institute's Jason Riley talks ab uh, about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who has been reborn as my grandson, Lou Ranzinger for Prager University, and his talk is brilliant. I'm enrolling in Prager University. It's thorough, it's accurate, and he, he, he says it with passion. And I always liked Jason Riley. I think he used to work for the Wall Street Journal. Now he's with the Manhattan Institute. Okay, next topic, video. On YouTube, hashtag conservative radio live, arrest made, confirmed deep state house of cards collapsing, conservative radio channel. Well, they talk a lot about Hannity. This is a Hannity report. Uh, this doesn't really describe what the video is, but this is a way to get to the video, and it's well worth checking out. It's as gay as two guys giving each other AIDS with their dicks, said Owen Benjamin in this video. This is a video I was telling you was so amazing. Hashtag 339, hidden good news, Jew or not Jew, South Africa by Toto, and more. Okay, I'll keep the camera on the pictures. Uh, Benjamin spot on. Horses are, I'm just, I'm answering what he says in the video. So when you watch the video, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. <laughs> sometimes I explain and sometimes I just answer what he says. Benjamin spot on. Horses are the counterparts to men. The whole point of the Democratic Party, said Benjamin, is to shield perverts. Being Democrat 
is to sell your soul. Democrats vote for all the things that are bad for the world. You get to murder kids, to fuck kids, if you're a Democrat. Hollywood's literally demons. We don't have to be the bitch of Saudi Arabia anymore. We are energy independent uh, as of months ago because of Donald Trump. Great good news. Good trade. He worked out good trade deals with Canada, Mexico, and China. FBI is a leftist organization, said Benjamin. I have hope that we can get out of debt. America invents it, China rips it off, and mass produces it and cheapens it. Mainstream includes to and views to you. America protects the vulnerable, the artists, the scientists, the creative people. They let them think freely, create, have free speech. The left is trying to stop this. The left is about change. The conservatives are about conserving, conserving the good that you have. The left wants to throw the baby out with the bathwater. The new nigga is a white male by the media. String him up. This is what Benjamin is saying. The Remembrance. City of London is one square block. It's an independent en entity. And it's ripping off everybody. The District of Columbia is not part of America. George, he, these are comments he made. And um, the elaboration of it, you can, you can hear when you go to the website, the video. George Soros is trying to flood the country with Muslims so he can make a ton of money. Islam is communism with a god. They're right on the money when it comes to women. I'm flying out tomorrow, says Benjamin, to do Infowars. I have seen a frog sucking on a dick called Honey Smacks. Frogs are gay because frogs are becoming gay because of the chemicals in the water. They put Alex Jones down for saying this, but this is true. The Gulf of Tompkins never happened, but it got 90,000 of our boys killed. Because it was an excuse for a war. Black Lives Matter don't talk about the shootings in Chicago. They don't talk about the open slave trade in Libya. Then it says skepticism is the basis for science. Prove it. Can you prove it? Hotel California. That's a song. Hotel California. The Eagles sang it. Stop those blacks from stealing our farms. This is a song that Benjamin's starting to... Uh, he's either created or he's already written it. At any rate, he's playing it on the... Um, he's playing it on the video. These are some of the words... Stop those blacks from stealing our farms in South Africa. Blacks hate the gays in South Africa. Blacks have AIDS in South Africa. Everybody's got AIDS in South Africa. Remember when South Africa was some uh, wonderful, gloriously run place? It was so efficient. Africans from all over came there to work and get money. Then this is another song he was writing. Mama told me when I was young, be a kind of trans. Don't ever be a man. Men are bad. So he's just saying what uh, might be a tranny's 
reality experience. And then uh, this is Benjamin's apology to Muzzies. She's horrible, meaning Christine Blasey Ford. She was bribed by the Jews, he says. Even an accusation without credibility is, is taken seriously. Nothing would be more effective in stopping feminism but muzzies, chopping off heads of Christians and Jews. Unleash Muslims on feminists. You're dead. Your men just look at pornography. This is what the Muzzies are saying. He calls Muslims Muzzies. They abandon the God. They show weakness. Wham! The Muslims cut off their heads. Praying five times a day is right on the money, I say. Benjamin thought it was uh, retarded or something. And then I say, where there's a will, there's a way. Muslim men have the strongest wills except the saints. And they have the strongest wills because they reinforce it with prayer. Prayer strengthens the will. This is a secret that the, ma the masters told us. So when they're praying five times a day, they're strengthening their wills. That's why their wills are so strong. Stronger than white men's wills. That's why they're just walking through the West and taking over. In England, France, Sweden, Italy, not Hungary, not Poland. Okay, uh, Muslims, men... I said they have strong wills. Most of men control their women. And the saints control their disciples, women and men, but they don't do it with force. They do it with love. Feminists are destroying their shields, their own shields. You need strong men to protect women from other strong men who'll come in and rape them. England is 90% atheist. Henry VIII uh, left the Catholic Church so he could whore around and, and uh, divorce his wife and generally be a reprobate. The city of London, that one block I was telling you about that Benjamin was telling us about, is sucking resources dry. Genghis Khan came in. The Tigris and Euphrates rivers, they say, were black with ink from books he threw in the river. Genghis Khan was George Soros, reborn as George Soros. Genghis Khan, George Soros, killed 50 million Chinese. And he pushed the Muzzies back in the Stone Age. Because back then, this is what Benjamin's telling us. He's giving us a history lesson. Back then, the Muzzies were going through their golden age of muzziness. Now their dinosaur consciousness, the conscience of dinosaurs. This I added because this has been revealed to me. If you don't have, I actually met Tyrannosaurus Rex. He's my brother from a past life. His name is Tarek Dijani, and he has a twin brother, Gibi Dijani. They're fans of my ex-husband, Edwin Birdsong. I told them about the album I wrote the lyrics for, Edwin Birdsong's album, What It Is, and Edwin Birdsong's album, Supernatural. I told them to check that out. So if you don't have your warrior man, uh, he's talking to feminists or to women in general, um, and you're treating them well, you're opening yourself up to hell. There's no one more vulnerable than women. They're all small. They can't throw a baseball. They can't reach shelves. 
and they have the menstrual bleeding several days a month for years. And I wrote, men can't breastfeed. Why are you talking about all the things we can't do? And you're right, and I'm right. Men can't breastfeed. There'll be dudes that don't care if you respect them. They'll just take you. They're called muzzies. The Muzzies' inventions are exaggerated. They said they invented the zero. Anyone who doesn't think the Jews invented numbers is insane. Knowing what you know about Jews to think that anyone else did anything with numbers means you're retarded. The Jews did all the numbers shit. Maybe the, this is Benjamin talking. Maybe the Chinese did some personal note from me. Good, I've been Jews, including Einstein, and I've been Chinese in the Ming Dynasty. Muzzies had nothing on the Jews, said Benjamin. Muzzies didn't come into existence until the 8th century. The Jews were at it for thousands of years, just counting and scheming, counting and scheming silver and gold. They had all of it on lock when the Muzzies came. Hey, I'm a Muzzy. Babylon at one point had a population of 600,000 people. They called a very, very old world. They didn't even have plumbing. Benjamin said he would like to have seen Babylon in 2000 BC, that they could have such a large population, and that people didn't die of diseases and things. The most brutal people ever were the Assyrians. Thousands of years pre muzzies before pre muzzies I guess. Hey, white people are scared of, this is me talking, are scared of black people and muzzies. Huh? They need a fearless leader. Owen Benjamin, Alex Jones, Paul Revere, sing Birdsong, King Arthur, Samurai Soldier, Superman, these guys are fearless. Jesus Christ, Gurinder Singh, who I showed you his picture, son of the sun, and his sister, daughter of the sun, Eve Evangeline, are fearless leaders. Pewdiepie, Pie, Samurai Soldier, fearless. William Hayes, Knight of the Round Table, fearless leader. And the other members of the Holy Royal Family are fearless leaders. And then we'll go back to Benjamin talking about Babylon. The whole region has always been intense. The Jews mastered everything that had to do with numbers. They invented zero before the Muzzies. How do you think they knew when to collect? When somebody went to zero, the Jews went, aha! The Hindus were good with numbers, too, because they had eight arms. Talking about the god Shiva. I think the Jews invented zero and algebra, given the amount of fake news in the world. Sometimes I just trust my guts, said Benjamin. The Mayans didn't invent zero. They weren't around until the 11th century. The Pyramid of Geyser are older than the Pyramids of Egypt. The Assyrians conquered Egypt. The Egyptians of today have nothing to do with Egyptians who built the pyramids, said someone on the chat line. Note, Black Harlem pastor, James David Manning, David who fought Goliath, Noah, and King David said the same thing. Benjamin said, I'll Google it. All Google think think about all day long is how can we give Browns credit for what the Jews and the whites did. Whites say freedom. Can't let go of that. Innovations, ingenuity, we can do that because of our lifestyle. Google says the zero was invented in 3 BC by the Mayans. That's so stupid. The concept of nothing, and it was carried into the 5th century by the Indians. 
The concept of zero invented the Mayans, said someone on the chat line. Good point, said Benjamin. Chat says numbers are fake because they are infinite. Google it. Google is a specific amount of number. What does Google mean? An unfathomable number. It's attributed to the 1930s when a nine-year-old nephew of Edwin Kastner, a mathematician, American, Googat, a number equal to 10 to the hundredth power. Benjamin says, I just pictured it in my head. Jew or not Jew dot com. That's hysterical. Funny. Funny ass website. Insanely funny. The Old Testament is very Jew heavy. Benjamin says, I like history. Guys, said Benjamin, Mayans were the first to have light bulbs. It's true. The Mayans did everything. Any Jews out there spiraling? No one's allowed to mock Jews. This is fun. This is actually a way for people to think you're not trying to take over the world. It's talking to Jews. It's kind of a logical step without wondering why can't anyone make fun of a Jew or wonder if someone's a Jew without being fired. That's typically the path of thinking those people are somehow in control of the levers of power. Ironically, me doing shit like this, says Benjamin, is probably better for Jews than you'd think. Ben Shapiro may be the most Jewish person ever born. Now he's at the website and he's saying Saul Alinsky is a 14. John Adams, Jew score 5. Jew or not Jew is not a real website. Score is based on what? It's so weird. It's got a weird font. Number one, how Jews, how Jewish they are internally. I guess this is how they're scored. Number two, how Jewish they are externally. Number three, how much we want them to be a Jew in the first place. Einstein didn't believe in God. Einstein didn't believe... This is me. I'm putting some information in. Uh, Einstein didn't believe in a higher power. A horse created the world. A horse is the counterpart to a man. A flower is the counterpart to a woman, and so is a cow the counterpart to a woman. Breasts, see the hanging breasts? Breasts, ovaries, mild red bird song, Mary, Merry Christmas, anointed anointed the best mother. All these three are the same person. She was anointed the best mother in the world by her husband, Jesus Christ, Saint Nicholas, Santa Claus. That's why she's Mrs. Santa Claus, you see. Okay. Okay, so God answers prayers. Anybody who bet on justified the horse got their prayers answered, won money, if you had faith in him. The Compton races all day long, do da do da somebody bet on the bobtail nag, somebody bet on the bay, lines from a song. A horse is God equivalent, a man counterpart, head, they both have heads, they have limbs, they have eyes, ears, nose, mouth. Man and horse have these things. They have a body front and a back side. They have hair, they can walk, they can run, they can run, walk backwards and forward. They can be useful, they can be trained. They can mate and reproduce. You worship, you know not what you worship. Worship, decoder. Breast, order. 
rose hip. Website says to all, oh, they're still at the website. To zero score is how they look and act. The juice score is run by our opinion. Benjamin says, I think this is run by Jews. Jesus' energy was. That's Jew decoded. Jesus' energy was. Jesus was a rabbi. Rabbi decoded. Our brain and body, mind, soul, Isaac's. Isaac's. Isaac's decoded. Isaac's soul examined. Self-realization. Okay, Jesus Christ had self-realization. He knew that he was uh, uh, the father and he were one. Is this run by Jews, asked Benjamin. They said we put how Jewish we want them to be. To put Stalin and Hitler at zero means that they're like, those guys are not Jews. This is run by Jews. That's hilarious. And they put Saul Alinsky, who wrote Rules for Radicals, way up high. They're leftist Jews. The Mayans were very selfish. Mayans. This is run by leftist Jews, talking about the website Jew or not Jew. They put Mel Gibson at zero. I hate these people, said Benjamin. Leftist Hollywood hates these guys. George Zimmerman at one, even with the name Zimmerman? They're trying to hide this one. I say, uh, he was defending himself. His head was being pounded against concrete, against the sidewalk. The surgeon said he was going to get die if that kept up. So they shot the guy to stop him. That guy was high on Skittles and uh, I forget what else. It was a drug combination. They have the Holy Ghost Einstein Evangeline at one. My note. They obviously don't know the souls they're scoring. Glenn Beck at one, Donald Trump at one, Gaddafi at one. These people are fucking intriguing but retarded, says Benjamin. The Illuminati at two. Oh, they're just trying to deflect. Vladimir Putin is at two. How's Vladimir Putin not at zero? The Easter eggs at the Easter bunnies at two. I think this is a joke. It's obviously run by shitlords. The, the chat line says, Jesus was the greatest Jew in history. Benjamin, I don't like calling him a Jew. My note, Jesus was a Jewish rabbi. What do you mean you don't like calling him a Jew? In denial, his own group killed him to save their money making schemes, counting and scheming. He called them out on it. The bankster Jews gave others, gave orders. They put out a hit on the greatest Jew in history. Pontius Pilate, who is Michael Buble's wife, Lo Palato, how do you say her name, like Pilate, carried out their orders, ordering the Italians Where's the rest of it? Uh, the Roman soldiers to execute the son of the son, the father father. Okay, sodomite. This, they're making jokes about creating a website for sodomites. Only Anderson Cooper's on the site, said Benjamin. Jesus on Jew or not Jew. HugePianist.com got to stay in the agor al 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 algorithms, guys, else we'll get shut down by the Jews. 
Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it and share it everywhere you dare. So long. Stay alert. Stay fair. It's Mild Red Songbird in New York City. Check out Owen Benjamin's site. This was hilarious tonight. Good night.